Universal Soldier is the Jean-Claude Van Damme mega blockbuster hit movie where he showed the world pretty much everything. It starts off back in Vietnam when Van Damme was like 9 and Dolph Lundgren was closer to 12. Since they're in the same squad, obviously they won and with enough time for some arts and crafts where Dolph made a wonderful seashell necklace. Now that they've won the war, they celebrate with a game of grenade toss, which she of course fucks up. So instead, they do bullet break dancing like total bosses. Best war ever. Now it's over 50 years later and they're all grown up when terrorists take over Hoover Dam for poorly explained reasons nobody gives a shit about anyways. So they send in Van Damme and Dolph. Where'd you drop him off? About a mile and a half away. We got 13 minutes. They don't tell us what happens in 13 minutes or what they're supposed to do with the other 12. After swimming the mile and a half in roughly 10 seconds. They're eight seconds behind schedule. F you, he had to dry his hair. They start nailing 200 yard headshots with fucking handguns. <laughs> then they start running down the dam and the ropes not for their safety, but for the dams. But after seeing that these guys do Steven Seagal style terrified sideways flit shooting, they realize all of this was unnecessary and just walk up and blow them the fuck away with a little assist from the power company. And this whole thing was a massive success. No injuries. Gentlemen, I think everybody's okay. Don't worry about this. It's completely unrelated. Now they're getting some sauna time in outer space or some shit. When Van Damme has a nightmare. The girl was innocent. Who the hell's he talking about? Sounds like a Seagal movie. He must have watched ironically. The horrors of Vietnam cannot be overstated. So he orders a forget me now to help ease the pain. While they're just trying to relax after a hard day of killing. <laughs> This disgusting pervert tries to take nudie pictures without their consent. Just because they're jacked to the gills and freshly shaven doesn't mean they're asking for it. Now, after having his innocence taken from him, he's frozen in fear and also ice, but mostly fear. Then he gets the courage to take his life back and the bully's not so big when someone finally stands up to them. You fucking coward. Now they're on the run and we're saved from the slowest and saddest car chase in history by his utter incompetence. That's the dumbest shit they've ever seen and are pretty sure it had to be on purpose. After a stern lecture on proper spark plug maintenance, they get their orders. Bring those civilians back to base. Which in a hilarious mix up, Dolph hears as sting those civilians with a blast to the face. And Van Damme hears as bring the villain back to his place. Oh man, things are getting wacky. Then, by a crazy coincidence, his tour of duty just ended right now. My tour's up. Well, they're not gonna get away with this shit. I swear to God, they're not gonna get away with this shit. Oh my God, lady, he just finished one of those 56 year tours. How about you chill the fuck out? Just want to go. Now that Van Damme's gone, people are bailing on the army left and right. I don't think I can be a part of this anymore. Okay, but you don't count anyways because you're a fucking nerd. In fact, all of you wearing pocket protectors and ties can eat shit. I'm talking about important people. Right now I need every soldier I've got. So he gets desperate. We're going after them. I don't see how you all getting your shit wrecked is gonna help anything, but okay. So after recharging the car's battery, it turns out to be one of those gas-powered 77 Blazers. Out of gas. Which isn't true, but it's going too slow. And if he says that, he doesn't have to deal with stupid questions. 
Close. 15 minutes and two states later, they come across the world famous Lucky Motor Court Motel. All our rooms all have air conditioning. We got some with water beds. Fucking sold. So Van Damme puts the hype to the test. And holy shit, it's everything he dreamed and more. <laughs> now everything's going great until she tries the phone. Praise boy. That lying son of a bitch! All our rooms all have telephones. Rotary telephones are the most important part of a motel room. This is total bullshit. Hey, lady! But he's the best kind of correct. Women just don't know how to use phones. Because he never said they worked. All our rooms all have telephones. He also never said they weren't allowed to run through walls. <laughs> while the military lights the entire motel the fuck up. So that one's on him. Hey! Now that he knows, to be more specific, they do a drive through checkout <laughs> with a 56 Buick that they have now, where they just fucking nail this old lady who's somehow only slightly annoyed. <laughs> just another day at the Lucky Motor Corp Motel. Later that day, the army's being total dicks again. <laughs> And son of a bitch, nobody interrupts Van Damme's ice trunky. For Van Damme, that was a mild warning. You guys got off easy. Close, but not everyone got the message. I'm out of here. Good call, because it goes exactly how you expect. If that's not bad enough, they stop at this shitty little diner, and their waitress is a total bitch. Hey, you got enough money to pay for all this? He's only the greatest action star of all time. I think he can afford anything on your shitty little menu. So he asks for her manager not to complain, but to kick his ass. <laughs> because he's not Steven Seagal, so he doesn't beat up women. Then he asks for the manager's boss, because fuck him too. <laughs> and since he's on a roll, guys with stupid wigs. <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> Steve Gutenberg. <laughs> and whoever's supposed to be watching these stupid kids who are running around with handguns like in Chicago or some shit. <laughs> he figures that's probably them, and if not, he also doesn't fucking care. Now we meet the smart gentlemen who see a vehicle straight out of Twisted Metal show up and Ivan Drago hop out wearing a necklace of human ears and decide that is someone they really want to fuck with. <laughs> while having Kevin Pollock as your enforcer would make anyone feel invincible. Nice necklace. He just got embarrassed by Van Damme, so he's in no fucking mood. Then, while he's killing all of them, son of a bitch, his men blow up again. That's like the third fucking time. But he can't deal with this right now because he has a performance at Abasha's grocery store, which he just knows will be his big break. But in the middle of his monologue, kiss ass. Fucking terrorists attack that bitch Carol Baskin, which normally everyone's down with, but this is his moment, so fuck you. And fuck that bitch Carol Baskin. Back to Van Damme, who can't figure out why she's still a part of this movie, so he buys her a bus ticket to fuck off, Phil. What, what is this for? To fuck off. That's why it's called fuck off, Phil. How did you not get that? And even though the bus is right here, she still somehow misses it. Thankfully, a shitload of cops show up, and while they point some guns at her, they point way more guns at each other. Normally, all your asses would be dead as fucking fried chicken, but you happen to pull this shit while Van Damme's in a transitional period. While Van Damme's trying real hard to be the shepherd, Dolph has to be a dick and fuck it all up. 
But deep down, he's still a nice guy. Excuse me? Concerned about his fellow man. Get your check on your driver, pal. He don't look too hot. Not only is he not hot, but that son of a bitch is sleeping on the job. So Van Damme tells him to get his lazy ass out of his movie and makes it up to the audience by doing explosion donuts <laughs> through the fucking desert. <laughs> then he lets her know she's an important part of the team and he's glad she stuck around. Okay. Just kidding, he tells her to eat shit. The bus was right there, take a fucking hint, and launches her out the door at like 60. So now he tries some Tokyo Drift shit. But son of a bitch, buses are terrible at drifting. The bus is rolling completely out of control with no end in sight when suddenly everything's just right. Just because Dolph Lundgren is trying to ruin your day and you're on a prison bus that's rolling fast towards the Grand Canyon doesn't mean you can't have some fun. Asking how he made it to a bar in Thailand while the bus is still rolling would be like launching an investigation into a lottery you won. Not that you can compare a stupid lottery with the awesomeness of this. After 77 and a half hours of the greatest piece of art in all of human history, he heads back to Arizona and climbs back in. And now they celebrate knowing they finally beat Van Damme. Fucking idiots! Why would you ever think that? Realizing how stupid that was, they make the easy decision to drive themselves off a cliff rather than deal with a pissed off Van Damme. She also sees that Van Damme ain't playing, so she gets her shit together and drives him home. I'm gonna take you home. A few hours later, they arrive in Brussels and that place has really gone to shit. Later that night... I'm gonna have to get going. Okay, great. Nobody cares. In fact, the faster you can get that stolen police vehicle that you use as your commuter car out of there, the better. But oh shit, Dolph's back and at a level of fake cop not seen since Steven Seagal. So he takes her hostage, which Van Damme's okay with. Then he starts making random things explode, which Van Damme's also cool with. It's starting to look like they're gonna be bros again and do some more grenade toss yodeling. <laughs> When he finds out, Dolph ruined the Flemish stew. So now he's gonna fucking pay. But I can't believe it. Dolph is beating his ass and just launches him into the barn. It looks like Van Damme's done. I guess you can't win them all. Oh my god, you fell for it twice. How are you that fucking stupid? <laughs> After getting his shit stomped for almost a full minute, which in JCVD face smash time feels like several lifetimes, he takes the easy and less painful way out by throwing himself into a harvester. He checks on her, and thank god she's okay. I have a little bit of a headache, but... Great, nobody asked. Now stop talking and get that thing the fuck out of here.